I suppose Team Ireland started like two years ago almost when we were trying to get Ireland into the World Cup. It was more like the whole Irish Overwatch community started two years ago because of the World Cup. Like the World Cup for Ireland is really important because it it's sort of it's the rallying point for our entire community. It's the way that we can group up together and do something for a common cause. Like last year, the year before, we were still trying to get to the World Cup with the prelim with the SOR requirements that was last year where we had to get, you know, a certain amount of accounts into the top one fifty in our region and such. We really pushed for it and we really made the most of it because, you know, who knows, like Blizzard may change the system again next year and we may not be in it. So we might as well make the most of um of the World Cup now that we have it. So. Uh, could be more. I don't know. Not well there's gonna That's be a big ass <laughs> camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more intimidating than the little one you had before. <laughs> Who's your favourite character? Who's your favourite character? Okay, well my journey getting down here, I got to uh, got to go on a train with Scrooge, it's the first time I met him. Nice lad. Um it's great to be down with the Team Ireland lads. They're all a great bunch of boys and Getting to spend a weekend with him before going to LA is obviously amazing. Um, and getting more screen time and get to see the frustration in their face build up, that's amazing as well. Um, the support for Team Ireland is incredible. The amount of donations, everything, especially now that we're able to go to Team um, to LA and now we get to fund a charity, the Down Syndrome Ireland, which is another amazing uh, thing. Um, I want to thank the social media team, obviously. They're amazing people and a Team Ireland wouldn't be half the team it would be without them. Um, and yeah, this weekend is basically just about spending time with the lads before we head and getting to know each other and doing what Irish do best and just having a good crack. Yeah, Which one? The age card? I look ban the age card, I look good in the public services card. Age card. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not really a good idea, like look Actually, at that, that's my age card. Oh Jesus, my school did these like, How for bad do I look year. in that? They did I these woke like up. little cards in order to pay for well, stuff okay. in the cafeteria. Watch this, right? This is and a beta mail right here, okay? And, and they this got is a like, the white balance the completely <laughs> off. So literally anybody who was like white, right there. your face blended the into face the back. Oh. But yeah, no, I've seen them all together. Like They were actually at the gaming cafe in Dundrum um, uh, two months ago, I think now. And just, you know, seeing the camaraderie, the like the the good crack they have together like it's you know it, it feels like we've sort of created something that will outlast just the world cup like these lads have you know they've gained friendships they've you know grown as people as well i know it sounds kind of a bit weird to say that but like they genuinely have grown like we've taken them out of their homes and we've brought them up to northern ireland you know go down to dublin and like this isn't stuff that they would have done otherwise they would have just been in their rooms and you know playing overwatch by themselves and whereas the world cup brings everyone together like it really I, I think it's a really special event because of that. Like it's it's something to to definitely keep going with. Yeah, it's probably should be good. Uh, everyone be rested. Yeah, it's just tired points. <laughs> uh, good to see them all. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see them all. Uh, it's good to see for the first time as well. Uh, seen everyone else before, but good to see them all again. Yeah, yeah, it should be good. Uh, Lucius of Highgrade. I can't even pick the Lucio, I can't even pick the Lucio. Don't sign green. And I don't have weapons for this, I was hoping we'd one shot. We've just finished up our first internal scrim where we're basically just scrimming six, six versus six as the 12 man team. Um, that went well. Uh, we're probably going to do another one after this break. And then later on this evening, we're going to do an external scrim where the six-man team is gonna is gonna scrim. So that's gonna be interesting because it's like the first time that they're actually gonna be scrimming external, like an external team, but they're all right next to each other as well. It's really interesting being able to like look into multiple people's monitors at the same time and like stand behind them, and I can hear all the comms and see everything that's going on. I really like that. Yeah, but but like you, like it's too late at that point. Like you gotta see him like walking up. You know what I mean? Instead, like. You call it by the time like he's shooting at Flex, but like Flex knows at that point. You gotta call it before that situation happens, so that Flex can get into like a position of cover or whatever. I'm excited to start scrimming again. I'm waiting right now. Uh, we've got a couple of lads in free fall. We've got a couple of lads in Apex. Uh, I'm just chilling. Uh, I tried to fall asleep, but I can't. Had a cheese sandwich, che ham cheese sandwich. Lovely. Saw the Tato mascot. Uh, one, the different one. That was mad. 
His head looks like a spot, that's crazy. Um, have a diet coke. And a bottle of water, yeah, that's my day so far. <laughs> on top of it, I can pull yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling her up, I'm pulling her up. Uh, well, scrims right now aren't going so well. I think the lads are tired. Uh, I've been playing all day. It's a bit rough. No, they are rough. When you three points and it says team kill, you went. Why didn't you go up for it? Why did I have to go for it? Because there's four. There was only two people. Exactly. Yeah. But you don't want Scally on it. It's technically off angles. You have more of a losing Scally. You have two points. If you don't play, you're going to get one point. Ah, exactly. I'm slightly above the point. And you have way more of a losing. But you're not up here on the point. Why am I on the point? No, you should have been on the point there. So we finished our first day in the Blong Arena. I thought we were going to be doing five, six hours of Overwatch, ended up being eight or nine. Exhausted, but it was good fun, but exhausted. It's a lot of Overwatch, but no, we need to get used to it, because we're here tomorrow. It's the second time. We're just about to start our second internal scrim. Um, we just played ranked pretty much all morning, then we had a VOD review, then we went for lunch, so we're about to start our, our second block of scrims now. Um, yesterday went really well, everyone's kind of tired because we went to bed like super late, which was a mistake, but um, just trying to keep the energy levels high at the moment, so uh, we'll see how it goes, I suppose. Um, after the internal scrim, then we have like a show match against the, the team from, from this place, so that'll be fun as well, but uh, that's pretty much it, we're almost, we're almost about to to wrap up after these two, after these next like four or five hours will be done. So uh, I think it went well. Um, so far, so good anyway. We have, we have only like two blocks left. So uh, yeah, we're doing good. Uh, well, after eight hours of playing Overwatch, a sixth of which would have been shot calling, my voice has died. So we have about three bottles of water on my desk, some water candies, and it's still completely fucked. So how have things been then, Mutes? Grand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, not too bad. I haven't fed that much, I don't think, except for uh, when we retired yesterday. When you see this screen, for all of us, come up and ask him a question then. Okay, either of the two. After winning. I'd, I'd say more buckle, yeah. More buckle. When we win around, or whatever. Okay? Thank you, Okuno! Uh, been pausing a fair amount. Uh, some issue with Flex and Booker's computers, but uh, yeah, it's fun. Can't complain. Getting rolled a bit, but you know, happens. Are you having a nice day? No, I've had technical issues the entire day, and uh, I feel like I'm going insane. I have the scrims been going. But uh, he's been with all his uh, friends, yeah, so it's with, been a great I know, day. Yeah. They've been listening to me run and going insane, but yeah. The uh, scrims are going good, and we're learning a lot. For Overwatch, I played one time to see but it's too fast for browsing. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 He switches DPI? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> an, an insight into Pure's DPI. <laughs> Uh, but that's the end of our uh, boot camp. We're heading back to the house tonight and then we're leaving to head back down to our houses tomorrow. And honestly, it was, it was really enjoyable. It's a completely new experience and I'm glad I got to do it now rather than first time doing it in LA. I think it's going to help us like, help manage 
ourselves better when we have to play all day. Whereas before, none of us had experience of playing six, eight hours sitting down in the same spot for the day. So I'm happy we have that experience so we can learn from it and do a proper win and go LA. Yeah, how I'm feeling towards BlizzCon, like I'm... <laughs> I suppose it's like a state of like excitedness and also just worry that I'm going to be looking after um, eight, maybe seven, you know, young lads that are going to be, you know, going off to America for the first time. They're going to be unsure of their surroundings and such so like well I'm very excited for the team and I, like I have no doubts they'll do well like you know as, as much as we take the piss on Twitter about beating South Korea the lads do really have a good chance at beating some of the top tier teams like they're no joke at all like they really are going to be doing some work for Ireland so um, I'm excited to see them play but yeah for myself like I'm just I'm going to be the, the mammy for the seven kids and you know I just want to make sure they get around safe and you know, don't get lost in LA or something like that so I mean in general it's like really good to do I do think like any team that's going to like a big event definitely needs to do it's like really really good to do something like this because it means that you can get comfortable around each other in a space it's pretty much exactly the same as what is going to happen at BlizzCon so yeah it'll probably be overwhelming like just because of the nerves and stuff like that but at least we've done this so hopefully that'll ease them a tiny bit you know but yeah it was good fun and I enjoyed it a bit of hiccups here and there but overall it was definitely worth it yeah, yeah it was good to like play with each other in like a LAN environment we could practice for that and also crack <laughs> I just want to say everyone who supported us you know brought the lads together bought a jersey you know supported Dance of Ireland like it, it means the fucking world to me and I'm so happy that we were able to, you know, make an impact on these lads' lives and, you know, bring them somewhere that they've always dreamed to be. Like, it's, you know, it means a lot to me. So, thanks everyone for supporting us. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry.